Um, how many of you have been lied to? It should be everybody. <laughs> how many of you have lied? Yeah, everyone has been lied to and everyone lies. Um, <coughs> Fezzik states that people in masks cannot be trusted. Uh, this can be taken as Halloween masks or robbers who wear masks <laughs> um, or people who use a mask to cover themselves, their personality, or when they're lying to you. Um, I'd like to talk to you today about learning to trust yourself and trust your instincts, um, to know when someone is lying to you to see through their mask. My main point is that um, you can always tell if someone is lying to you. They change their personality, they change the way they talk, they change their gestures. Um, you need to be able to see through them, see through their mask that they can put on. It's almost like obviously if someone's in your house in the middle of the night and they're wearing a mask, you're not going to trust them. That's obvious. Um, it's just like people do certain things that you that are like telltale signs that you can see and it should be easier to know that. All right, Brittany, uh, uh, the audience survey is okay. I think you could do something a little bit more interesting, but uh, the idea is all right. And uh, you identify what the topic is. I think you're finally getting to having a thesis statement as you get through that, uh, that the, there's a point of view that you want to have and that you're going to talk about. And I like that you finally got to that. But there's no structure set up for how to talk about it. And I think that that hurts you in a couple of places because although you've got an insightful and interesting uh, point of view that you want to express, you're not going to be going anyplace. It's not going to progress anywhere it, uh, without having um, a series of uh, issues that you're going to present and it'll just feel a little bit like you're spinning your wheels. On the presentation, you know, for the time that you were up there, I thought you projected pretty well. Uh, it didn't seem like you were rushing. You had a few indicators. Uh, you seemed involved with your facial expressions and your audience contact. I think that those are the strongest parts of the uh, presentation. Um, you look poised while you're speaking, uh, but you're only up there a minute and a half, and so it's a little bit tough to assess uh, all of your communication skills in such a short time. Uh, and the exit really feels rushed. It doesn't 
you know, I wasn't even sure that you were done based on your intonation and based on the content. And the lack of a structure, I think, hurts you a little bit at the end because of that, because it does feel sort of like <coughs> you just run out of steam and you, you end without really uh, coming to a conclusion or making a point. All right, thank you. All right, we, I think after Chris, we can do uh, one more speaker. So let's sit. John, if you will come get a topic, you'll be our last speaker for the day, and then uh, we'll have Chris, and then you.